हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस फार्माकोलॉजी ऑफ हार्मोनल ओरल कॉन्ट्रोसेप्टिव नाउ कॉन्ट्रोसेप्टिव आर बर्थ कंट्रोल प्रिपरेशन हार्मोनल कॉन्ट्रोसेप्टिव आर बर्थ कंट्रोल हार्मोनल प्रिपरेशन दैट प्रोड्यूस रिवर्सिबल सप्रेशन ऑफ फर्टिलिटी नाउ हार्मोनल ओरल कॉन्ट्रोसेप्टिव प्रिपरेशन कंटेन आई द सिंथेटिक प्रोजेस्टरॉन दैट इज प्रोजेस्टिन अलोन और अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ प्रोजेस्टिन एंड सिंथेटिक ईस्ट्रोजन that is these hormonal oral contraceptive preparations they contain either progestin alone or these oral contraceptive pills they consist of a combination of progestin and estrogen now hormonal oral contraceptive preparations thus are made up of synthetic estrogen most commonly used is the ethinyl estradiol and progestins Uh, which are derivatives of 19 nor testosterone like nor ethandrone liver nor gastrel desogastrel nor gastrel etc now in order to understand mechanism of action of hormonal oral contraceptive pills it is essential to review the concept of menstrual cycle or reproductive cycle uh, that is necessary for reproduction so let's understand uh, the menstrual cycle let's review the menstrual cycle uh before talking about the mechanism of action now uh, this is a chart that explains one menstrual cycle or reproductive cycle one reproductive cycle is of 28 days starting from day 1 to day 28 now this figure one it explains the ovarian cycle now ovaries consist of immature ovarian follicles on an average only one follicle develops every month and this uh, developed ovarian follicle it releases the mature egg on day 14 by the process of ovulation now follicle develops in the ovary during the follicular phase now very important to remember that follicle stimulating hormone is essential for the development of ovarian follicle now suppression of follicle stimulating hormone inhibits development of ovarian follicle thereby inhibits or prevents the process of ovulation now exogenous supplementation of estrogen suppresses follicle stimulating hormone and thereby suppresses development of ovarian follicle on the other hand luteinizing hormone is essential for the rupture of developed follicle releasing the mature egg now suppression of luteinizing hormone inhibits ovulation now exogenous supplementation of progestin suppress luteinizing hormone and thereby suppressing or inhibiting the process of ovulation and this prevents pregnancy now look at figure 3 it depicts uterine cycle now this is endometrium Uh, it is the innermost lining of the uterus now developing follicle in the ovary releases estrogen and estrogen proliferates endometrium estrogen makes the endometrium thick and thus it prepares endometrium for the implantation of fertilized egg now very important to remember that exogenous supplementation of estrogen hyper proliferate endometrium and thus prevents implantation of fertilized egg thereby preventing pregnancy on the other hand after ovulation ruptured follicle develops into corpus luteum and corpus luteum produces large amount of progesterone and comparatively less amount of estrogen now progesterone makes endometrium secretory it increases blood supply to endometrium and stimulate uterine glands to increase secretion necessary to provide nutrition to the fertilized egg if it is implanted now exogenous supplementation of progestin makes endometrium hypersecretory and thus not suitable for the implantation of embryo and thus exogenous supplementation of estrogen as well as progesterone prevent implantation of embryo thereby preventing pregnancy now very important to understand that sudden fall in the levels of pro progesterone and estrogen causes breakdown of this endometrial lining 
and blood vessels and the endometrial tissue broken endometrial tissue and blood is passed from the uterus into vagina as menstrual flow and the process is called as menstruation and menstruation confirms that pregnancy has not occurred and this menstruation occurs because of the fall in the levels of progesterone and estrogen so now let's understand the uh, mechanism of uh, action of um, the hormonal oral contraceptive pills so talking about the mechanism of action of uh, hormonal oral contraceptive pills now estrogen estrogens suppress secretion of follicle stimulating hormone and suppression of follicle stimulating hormone prevents development and maturation of dominant follicle thereby inhibiting ovulation now apart from this as already seen uh, estrogen causes hyperproliferation of endometrium and hyperproliferated proliferated endometrium prevents implantation now talking about progesterone uh, as already discussed uh, progesterone primarily suppress secretion of luteinizing hormone and this inhibits ovulation as the dominant follicle fails to rupture in the absence of luteinizing hormone further progestins stimulate secretion of thick cervical mucus that prevents sperm penetration apart from this as already seen in the chart progestins make the endometri endometrium hyper secretory and hyper secretory endometrium is not suitable for the implantation of blastocyst that is not suitable for the implantation of embryo so estrogen and progesterone they prevent ovulation they prevent implantation and thereby they prevent the pregnancy now types of hormonal oral contraceptive pills uh, there are four different types uh, combined pill uh, that consists of estrogen as well as progesterone also termed as monophasic pill then we have phased pill then mini pill mini pill consists of only progestin and emergency post coital pills so let's uh, discuss the pharmacology of all these different types of pills one by one so now let's talk about the combined pill or the monophasic pill it is termed as combined because it contain estrogen as well as progesterone and it is termed as monophasic because estrogen and progesterone are present in a fixed dose so this is the most popular and most effective pill it consists of a combination of estrogen that is synthetic estrogen and progestin that is a synthetic progesterone in fixed dose a 28 day pack contain 21 days of active pill active pill means it consists of uh, synthetic estrogen as well as progestin and 7 day of placebo placebo means no drug a pill containing no drug so look at this diagram uh, this diagram shows one reproductive cycle starting from day 1 to day 28 from day 1 to day 21 the fixed dose of estrogen and progesterone is supplemented and a fixed dose causes a fixed rise in the blood levels of estrogen as well as progesterone now after this placebo is administered that is no drug is administered and thus the levels of estrogen as well as progesterone they suddenly fall and this causes breakdown of endometrial tissue breakdown of and uh, of blood vessels and which is passed from the uterus as menstrual flow and menstrual flow signifies that no pregnancy has occurred during this reproductive cycle and constant exogenous estrogen and progestin for 21 days suppress follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone secretion preventing maturation of dominant follicle uh, as well as ovulation and sharp decline in progesterone produces the menstrual flow uh, which confirms that pregnancy has not occurred now second type of pills are the phased pills now uh, these phased pill, uh, phased pills they follow the triphasic regimen triphasic regimen mimics the normal hormonal pattern in a menstrual cycle so estrogen dose is kept constant between 30 to 40 microgram while amount of progestin is low in the first phase 
and progressively higher in the second and the third phase. Neither exogenous estrogen nor progestin is administered in the fourth phase. Now, this is recommended for women above 35 years of age and efficacy is around 98 to 99% uh, with the combined pill. Uh, third type of hormonal oral contraceptive pills are the progestin only pills. These are called as mini pills. They contain only progest progestin. So, low dose progestin only pills and these are taken continuously without any gap. And these pills are recommended when estrogen is contraindicated. And these uh, progestin only pills, they exhibit lower efficacy compared to the combined pills which contain estrogen as well as progestin. Their efficacy is low and uh, the efficacy is 96 to 98 percent. Now, fourth type of pills are the emergency postcoital pills. These are progesterone receptor modulators. Now, these pills, they delay ovulation, but they do not work after the ovulation has already occurred. And these are useful for women who had unprotected sex, risking unwanted pregnancy. And these should be taken as soon as possible after the unprotected sex. Now, most commonly used standard regimens are the first regimen consists of liver nor gastrin, that is a progestin, a synthetic progesterone, 0.75 milligram, two doses, 12 hours apart, or 1.5 milligram single dose taken as soon as possible. And these pills, they should be taken before 72 hours of unprotected sex. Now, uh, the second regimen uh, consists of uh, uliprestal 30 mg. Uliprestal is an antiprogestin. So, uliprestal 30 mg single dose as soon as possible within 120 hours of unprotected sex. The third regimen uh, consists of mifepristone. Mifepristone is also an antiprogestin. 600 mg single dose taken within 72 hours of unprotected sex. Now, adverse effects of hormonal oral uh, contraceptive pills, common side effects are nausea and vomiting, similar to morning sickness, then mild headache, breast discomfort, uh, then breakthrough bleeding, weight gain, acne and hirsutism are associated with 19 nor testosterone progestins. Now, hirsutism refers to growth of hair on the face and body. Then cloasma, that is characterized by pigmentation of the skin. Uh, then mood swings, uh, these can also occur due to mini pills, that is the pills containing only progestins. Now, uh, serious complications of uh, hormonal oral contraceptive pills are uh, leg vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism, coronary and cerebral th thrombosis uh, causing uh, problems like myocardial infarction, stroke, uh, rise in blood pressure, minor increase in the breast cancer, benign hepatomas, gallstones, etc. Now, absolute contraindications of hormonal oral contraceptive pills are thromboembolic disorders, then coronary artery and cerebrovascular disease, hyperlipidemia, hypertension, acute liver disease, hepatomas, history of jaundice, then suspected genital or breast carcinoma, then porphyria, impending major surgery. So, this is in brief on hormonal contraceptive pills. Please note that the information provided in this video is meant only for students from their examination point of view. Kindly consult your physician for the clinical use of hormonal oral contraceptive pills. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.